10 10 a.m. I guess recorded the uh, trial starting a little bit late today. Ready for this man? I'd be lying if I said I was. We're gonna be riding in our man Donatello soon. Gotta be prepped for it. Raphael. Of course. What the heck is wrong with you? I don't want to put my in jeopardy. I can't tell them about marriage. I think we're on the waters. Just nervous for the trial. Dude, I may not be the brightest bulb out there, but even I can tell something's up. Don't bother. Fine, be that way. Everything you need before this is all over? Remember, the prosecution and defense are working together to get this guy. There might be something. Can you check for fingerprints on the entrance to the hidden hallway? That's it. We've got a record of all the prints, so it shouldn't take too long. I'll be back before you know it. So you know about Mystic Maya? He suspects something. No, the better. I don't like it. That woman has to be good. As long as no one accuses her. No, that can't happen. I won't put Maya in more danger. I have to be married about this for now. I won't do that. I need to make certain of it. The prosecution is late. Ahem. I'd like to start the trial, but we seem to be without a prosecutor. That's strange. Blaine seems late. That may be more unexpected than anything else he's done yet. Does anybody have an idea where Mr. Williamson is? He's not in the courthouse, sir. We've checked everywhere. Well, this is most peculiar of him. He's always been on time before. Where is he? He must have a good reason for not being here. This might work out well for us. I need every moment I can to figure out what to do about Meredith and May. Maya. Well, Mr. Wright, I do apologize for those of us who are, on, who are here on time. But we can't continue without a prosecutor. We'll have to wait until he arrives. OBJECTION! Uh, who is that right now? Sorry, I'm late. I've never been good at coming on time to anything, really. It's... it's Mr. Jimmy. Mr. Jimmy? I hope he's working with the prosecution. I want an explanation. I can do that. Obadiah's running a bit late today, that's all. He won't be here for a while. Late? To a trial? This is most unlike him. I'm aware. He had some important matters to attend to. More important than this trial? I always said the two were mutually exclusive. Hmm? Er, well. I'd say it's an hour before he gets here. Maybe a teensy bit more. Who could say? Well, in that case, we'll just have to both talk to him. Can't let you do that, Mr. Judge. <laughs> Why not? Open his request. He told me to make sure the trial continued, whether he was here or not. Just until he gets here. A substitute? This is the first time hearing of this. You didn't call? Alright! I was the one who was supposed to do that. <laughs> Are you a prosecutor, Mr. Er, what did you say your name was? Jimmy. Just Jimmy. And yes, I am a prosecutor. This is just a slab of cardboard and take over it. Nobody in their right mind would believe that. You'd be surprised. Well, if he has a prosecutor's badge, I see no reason he can't help. Welcome, Mr. Jimmy. Is he worried about our cases in the morning? If he was, then this might be the only chance to finally understand him. I agree, Your Honor. The badge still seems legitimate. Ha! I knew you'd appreciate it. The defense supports a change in prosecution until Mr. Williamson gets here. It can't be too long, let's hope. I didn't really get to see him lose the last time we were in court together. I figure whatever Obi says must be a tad skew. It's nothing. I'm used to antagonistic prosecutors by now. Looking forward to this, right? Yeah, as he would say, a nift chit chat. Now let's get this party started. Does the prosecution have any new witnesses to bring in? Actually, Mr. Judge, we have a new suspect. A suspect? You do? Who is it? Don't let me hurt. I can't have her accused of Maya still vulnerable. He's going by Raphael. First time we didn't see it coming, buddy. Ooh, 
Follow the dimmer stand, it's only a matter of time. The prosecution no longer suspects the defendant. No sense dancing around the issue, right? Nope, we don't. Well, in that case, will you be dropping your charges? We will, in time. First, we need to prove her innocent. After the way they left the trial yesterday, she's still suspicious, strictly speaking. I think if we get this other guy up here, though, he'll clear it all up. There's nothing conclusive on him. Yet. But that's why he's testifying. Oh, well, he is not required to testify himself, I presume. Sure, he isn't. I have a feeling he'll agree. Shall we bring him in now? Yes, let's do that. Be careful. He's connected to Grandmother. You know he'll discuss her at some point. I'm not sure how much I can drag this out. It all depends on the same Jimmy again, and what strings he decides to pull. <laughs> F.I.L. Buddy, glad to have you here with us. I'm simply enchanted. Howie, tough cookie. Don't worry, we'll crack you. Now remember, Righty, just because I dragged this fellow in doesn't mean Miss Iris is off the hook. This guy's suspicious, but she still is too. Yes, I realize that. I'll help when I can, but keep in mind, I'm still the prosecution. Just don't do anything stupid and this should all go swimmingly. Now, Mr. Murderer, I know you shot that gun, but I want to hear your side of things. Sound swell? Just dandy. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't shoot anyone. I was with Mystic Meredith the whole time. She will confirm this. There's no reason to suspect I shot Maya Fang. And as I recall, it was the sister that two separate witnesses saw. Possibly three. I wasn't even in the courtyard, so why are we trying to prove this? Hmm, doesn't seem to be much wrong. Why would you say that is, Mr. Donatello? Would you prefer a full confession? Is that it? Then hurt. Then my apologies. Didn't think so. Well, in that case, I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Defense Attorney. I'm sure you know what to do. Now that we're all in court, how about you give that alibi? I don't have to do anything of the sort. If you want to prove I'm guilty, the burden is on you. Good point. Okay, I guess you can just leave then. I've reconsidered. If you really want the alibi so much, I may as well give it. Is there something keeping him here? Hold it! He would tell us he didn't do anything? That is correct. I would not have mentioned her as an alibi if she was going to accuse me. What about the reverse? Could you tell us if Mystic Faye shot anyone? <laughs> Objection! This man is the one being accused right now. Don't drag Meredith Faye into this. But she was with him. We need to know what both were doing. Overruled, with this question, he isn't testifying against himself, but rather her. I'll have the witness answer it. No! Well, Raffi, let's hear it. Not that I saw. That was close. I guess he's going to cover for her after all. Thank you. That will suffice. You may continue with your statement. Hold it! You have to admit, the secrecy isn't doing you any favors. I am a citizen with rights, just as any other. You can't bully me into cooperation. Besides, by this point I couldn't care less how any of this turns out. How do we interpret that? It's me. He didn't shoot her, but he must have been involved somehow. How much does he know? Hold it! Iris was seen on the balcony. I'm quite aware. She would seem far more suspicious than I. I wasn't hit by a shot from the balcony. But it's too early to reveal that. Once that's out, it's only a matter of time before Mary is brought in. Yes, we did. can't stop forever. Is Iris would still be found guilty. Saul and Iris is convicted. Or don't, and Mystic Client dies. Which does it have to be? Hold it! Where were you? I was in the building with Mystic Faye. I've already addressed the matter. 
please confirm this? Both him and the old lady vouch for each other. Naturally, they either must both be telling the truth, or both lying. There's no around that way around that, is there? I'll have to tread carefully. He's lying! Remember what you said at the trial yesterday? Bits and pieces. But you should remember what I'm thinking of. But he said my grandmother's testimony proves himself wrong right here. I think I know what she's talking about. I get to that contradiction. I don't remember anything about the last trial. in the courtyard? Really? Shall I repeat myself? That won't be necessary. You already did. You talked about this yesterday, and you're contradicting what you said then. Mr. Raphael, do recall the time. It was half past the hour time, around 1.30. The problem then was that you got the time wrong because the clock was off by an hour. That clock happened to be in the courtyard, so you must have been there to see it. Yeah. Nice catch. I wasn't here, so I might not have noticed that. Why do you lie, Ralphie? That was a mean thing to do. I... I didn't know what else to say. I had to. You had to? Hey, care to explain? Yes. You see, saying I any mean, otherwise would have made me a suspect. I was on the balcony, but I didn't shoot the gun. I saw Sister Iris there, holding the rifle. She fired off the shots before I could stop her. I couldn't report it earlier, as it would have made me seem suspicious. Oh, I get it. You were just too scared to report it, is that right? If you'd known I was standing there, you would immediately suspect me. You're doing just that right now, so it seems my assumptions weren't off. Hmm. I don't buy it. Right? No. How do I proceed here? If I prove he's connected to the shooting, I won't have much room left. Meredith is the next step from there. I get the feeling Raphael isn't the only person Jimmy wants to accuse. And he's been really direct so far. How much longer can I draw this out? What were you doing there? I heard the gunfire and went to investigate. I must say, I was quite shocked by what I saw. She honestly didn't seem the type. Hold it! Are you sure it was her? Are we calling my eyesight into question now too? Yes, it was her. Did you see her shoot it? Yes. If I had any doubts before, they're gone now. Who wants to pin it on her? I know it. You're saying you saw her shooting at people and did nothing to stop it? It happened too fast. I didn't immediately realize what was happening, so... Hold it! What did you do? I was a bit startled, but once I got over it, I merely approached her from the behind. I reached out to knock the gun away. Iris claimed she was pushed. Was that you? She wasn't expecting me. She jerked back when I hit the gun and fell over herself. That was her own fault? I see. That's me wrong, but I can't see how. There aren't any contradictions with, him, with the evidence. We'll keep checking. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Donatello. It would be my pleasure. No, just a bit. I got a question. What was Meredith Fay during doing all this time? What? Objection! That's irrelevant. She's not the suspect. Objection! Irrelevant? Weren't they together? Why has she never mentioned anything about this? Objection overruled, Mr. Wright. Witness, you will answer me. 
he was with She wanted to report it as she could be accusing her granddaughter. Just as I thought, she was involved somehow. Well, Righty, do you believe our man? Come on, be nice. No matter what I say, it's going to go horribly wrong. He's lying. She wasn't anywhere near him. Okay then. I guess Mystic Fay was somewhere else in that home, unaccounted for. Are you sure you want to go with this route? Yes, I'm sure. Great! Now, Ms. Meredith has no alibi, which means... OBJECTION! It doesn't have to mean anything. OBJECTION! Don't you see? We've got a new suspect. OBJECTION! We have a new suspect. The guy you brought in here. And that suspect said Meredith Fay was by his side. Who are you to call him a liar? How did the defense prove the witness is lying? In a way, she ends up as a suspect. I can't prove it if he's lying. I have to pick my battles carefully. No, Your Honor, there's no evidence for that. Very well, but I expect you to still give us an answer. Well, alrighty. Do you believe our man? Nice. He has to be telling the truth. They were together. Okay, Ben. She was at the crime scene. Are you sure you want to go this route? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, <laughs> Mystic Meredith saw her granddaughter on the balcony with the gun, and yet she testified yesterday that she saw her somewhere else. What's with the perjury? Awfully suspicious for an old lady. She was covering up for Iris. It's really that simple. For the defendant, you know better. If you really want proof of the cover-up, I can give you one. I, I thought we were accusing the witness. If she wasn't around, then Mr. Donatello is covering for her. And of course, it means she herself lied to the police. Why on earth would they do that if she wasn't involved? Any more questions? I... 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 <laughs> Take your time. I've got all day. No, really. Go ahead. This is happening too fast. I didn't realize he would be this relentless. Mr. Dantella, do you have anything to add about when you saw the defendant? I'm not sure what you want me to say. If you have specific questions, just ask them. How many shots did you hear? Three. She fired three times. I risked it? That's a contradiction. Not one I'm sure I like. I'm sure I like. Unfortunately, this is a dead end unless I take the opportunity. I don't have any other choice right now. Your Honor, I'd like this last statement added to the witness's testimony. Very well. Witness, please amend your statement. You can't drag this out forever. You know what comes... Ha. Ah, you know what comes next, buddy. No. You can't. I could die if we accuse her. I have to prolong that at all costs. You're right, it definitely would. You see? My rationale was perfectly logical. Hmm. I still think you did it. Were you planning on providing proving that, or just adding color commentary? Both, if possible. No, I might just sit back and wait for the defense to do the hard work. That's my cue, apparently. I still know nothing about Jimmy. He plays himself as a fool, and I know there's more to him. Keep pressing, but be careful. I'm scared if you do a something will add will happen to Mr. Kamaya or Miss Iris, or both. I can't have that. No matter what, I have to make sure Meredith Bay is accused. The trial mustn't go that way. All three? You heard each? I may have faults, but failing grade school arithmetic is not one of them. Did they all come from the same area? The balcony? That's right. Yes. I can disprove that easily. The question is, do I want to? Well, just in case this leads to a bad end. Saving yet again. That's one thing. I know there's more. I first need to shoot the final shot. I should show something more to really stamp down this contradiction. One thing. I know there's more. I say you take the final shot. I should show something more to really stamp down this contradiction. Objection! 
I object to this testimony. You do? Because it's detrimental to my case. Overruled. Good call. Well, that didn't work. Hello. Okay. Let's see. What is there that... Save again, so I don't have to open that up again. Objection. Nope. Where's that Objection. third piece? Wait, wait, wait. Is it the manor map? Objection. Nope. Aha! Injury report. Was it the bullets? Nah, it was the bullet hole. Objection! As an offense, I'm inclined to say Iris didn't shoot at all. However, if she did, it wasn't the third shot. A small pistol was, I, was found yesterday. Detective Waters had it analyzed and confirmed it as the assault weapon. Only two of the three bullets came from the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> Order! What's this? Are you saying there was a second shooter? W well, I don't know if we should jump to that conclusion. Objection! Maybe if you- maybe you don't, but I do. It's the only logical assumption. There clearly were two people after the Karain Master. I wonder who the other one could be. Eh, Mr. Wright? Objection! We don't need to know the second shooter. Right now, Iris is on trial for attempted murder. The final shot wasn't from the balcony. She couldn't possibly be guilty. Heh, heh, heh. What is wrong with the court of law when you're not even interested in catching a culprit? You're really adamant. Maybe it's time to play hardball. Ms. Iris is on trial for attempted murder, right? Therefore, if she shot even one of the hard three bullets, she's still guilty. No way! That's right! It doesn't matter if she hit the victim or not. Well, Raffi... If Righty really wants to just throw in the towel, I guess your story checks out. Maybe you're good to go. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Hold it! Iris didn't fire a single bullet. There's no way. Decided to hop back in? I won't stop you. But if we do this, we're not going just halfway. How do you know she's innocent? Iris didn't shoot Maya. I know that was Meredith. But she was down in the lower hallway. Iris was alone with Donatello. This is word against hers, and if she's truly innocent, the shooter must be. There was a different shooter. The person who shot Maya from the balcony. Take that! It was the witness, Mr. Raphael Donatello. Ha! Back on track. But righty, I thought Mr. Donatello said he walked in on her in the act. He wouldn't be lying, would he? He's doing just that. It was the other way around. She walked in on him. She said she never saw anybody. That's right. He hid himself. Mark would be tight. Those balconies look too small to not notice a person there. It wouldn't be so hard. He didn't hide on the balcony. Really? I don't see anything wrong with that. You, you don't? No, you put something fine to me. Well, maybe that's a bit confusing. Yes, I think you should go back and ask you to some more. That apparently wasn't the right answer. Alright, I'm just gonna go around and figure out where it is. There's a room just on the other side of the hallway. Donatello heard her coming and ran back so she wouldn't see him. Iris walked in and saw the gun. Curious, she picked it up. Unfortunately, Miss Porter and I saw her doing that. Miss Porter fainted. I turned to focus on Maya. Nobody was left looking at Iris. And when her back was turned, he hit her from behind, knocking her over the edge. 
That's how neither he nor anybody else ever saw it. I wasn't the Shuka. You have no witnesses, no evidence, no proof. Hmm, isn't that strange? I'd say that actually works in my favor. What? Are you mad? Oh, Rafi. Silly man. Let's enlighten him. What evidence, or lack thereof, shows that Iris did so to shoot the gun? Where is... Iris' fingerprints aren't on any part of this gun which matters. If you look at the fingerprints of a prince again, you know she couldn't shoot it. And you admitted you were there, so that leaves you, Mr. Donatello. I think she had fingerprints. That's more than you could say for me. Mind if I bought in? Buddy, what are those things you're wearing on your hands? G gloves. But that doesn't mean anything. You think? According to the trial transcript from yesterday, we heard something interesting. You and your tricky words, Obi. I was only wearing gloves. If she was really the one shooting at us, she should have left fingerprints on the gun's trigger. Does the prosecution have an explanation? Yes, in fact. I'm shocked that the defense thought I would have looked this. She wiped them off. There are traces of other prints in the trigger and they are smoked. They weren't fingerprints. Glove prints. <laughs> Iris was not wearing gloves when the police apprehended her. In fact, only one person in the house was. That was you. Now be a good boy, that's already. Fine, you got me. I shot the gun. You tried to kill Maya. It wasn't my decision. Even now, I have no earthly idea why we did it. If it had been up to me, none of it would have happened. Sorry to say, that doesn't change that you were going to murder the lady. That really wasn't all that nice, was it? So tell me, Mr. Raphael Donatello, who hired you? No! I won't rat anybody out. I'm a professional, not some low-life street thug. If I'm being brought in, I can at least do it with a shred of dignity. That doesn't mean squealing like Menderez wants me to. Menderez? Did he order you to do it? Menderez wanted Faye dead. Something about her big announcement set him off. He never told me the details. I had to kill a woman without ever knowing why. I couldn't care less about the inner politics of some cult group. Poppycock. Yet here we are. Funny, for a guy who was against the whole thing. I hoped he'd never make it this far. I could deal with murder, but to backstab our friends? No, I won't sink that low. One more time, Ralphie. Who was Menderez working with? Who were you supposed to squeal on? No, I won't do it! This group is to have standards. We would never betray the ones we worked with. If Menderes is going to change all that, he can go to hell for all I care. That's it! I'm through with it! Finished! I'm not taking any more orders from a man who won't even show me his face! You hear that, you nutter? I know you're watching this trial. I quit! Go, everyone. That buffoon will be away for a while. Not everything has been cleared up. We know that he didn't shoot the victim. Who did? Ralphie wasn't the only one we're gunning for today. Who shot Maya Fett? A good question. Any ideas, right? Here it is. I really can't go any further. I'm disappointed. I'm a master at playing stupid. I can tell that's what you're doing. If you don't want to out the villain, then I will. It was Meredith Fay. Yeah, He's going to get her killed! That's right, ladies and gents. Tonight's would-be killer is none other than the victim's grandmother. Objection! Wait! 
Jimmy, how do you know that? Simple logic and deduction, my friend. Who hired Mr. Donatello? Don't kid yourself. It wasn't for his looks. She knew what he was doing. What do you think happened after Donatello missed Miss Maya? Meredith went down and shot her herself. Now, are we going to drag her to the stand or not? No, you can't do that! Don't be silly, of course I can. She's right up there in the gallery. Why don't you step on down to have a nice little chat with us? Please! She can't testify. Why not? A killer's a killer's a killer. You don't know what you're doing. Believe it or not, I do. Now let's catch us a bad guy. Somebody go and fetch her, pretty please. Alright, I'll stop this here.